to your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Okay, Kevin. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start poking some bears in, in the martial arts world and try to, to get to the bottom of uh, of some things that have been going on for at least the last definitely the twenty five plus years I've been involved, and I know definitely since the time that you've been involved too. Uh, so the first bear we're gonna poke is the belt system. Mm-hmm. I came from it, you came from it, and we we definitely made something really good out of it, but not unfortunately not mm-hmm. everyone has correct you know uh and that goes with every industry we're talking yep. you know the pharmaceutical industry the auto industry whatever it, mm-hmm. when, when someone gets their hands on something and they're not the right person they're mm-hmm. probably going to ruin it you know correct whether it's inadvertently or directly or purposely or whatever so let's talk about that a little bit so um the belt system um i appreciate it you appreciate it but it's been almost completely entirely ruined uh perceptually in the eyes of both martial arts people and mm-hmm. the general population. Mm-hmm. Um, and what I mean by that is, here we have the standard of what we know as a black belt. Correct. Okay? And the general, when you talk to people out there, they see a black belt as this high level person mm-hmm. who can do so many amazing things. You know, They have this image in their mind of what a black belt is. But then when they go and see someone that's a black belt and that standard isn't met, it's very confusing or it's very off-putting mm-hmm. or it's very disappointing. So do you have any comments on the belt system in general that might that that we can help everyone else understand okay this is what a black belt is or should be uh to to clear that up so the way i see things is that you know coming from a Mm -hmm. traditional background that if you talk about the the chinese martial arts there was no belt there was no belt system for the chinese martial arts but but the japanese and the koreans they they systemize the levels of training. Okay. Uh, one, I think it's for the business, for kind of helping like a uh, student to kind of keep them motivated. Yeah. But of course, you know, tradition, they'll say a white belt, it's like a black belt is a white belt that never quits, right? It continues that training so that when you start with a white belt, you train so hard over the last maybe couple couple of decades and then finally you, your white belt becomes so dirty and it becomes a black belt. Right. And now, of course, I understand that like, depending on individual's capability or you know your dedication one black belt might be way better than the other black belt and of course i think the markets out there like they're your school that kind of just kind of sell you the belts okay in a way okay because i personally train in this in a school where i was pushed to test every every month every month okay. you got test you got okay. test you got test and i just feel like oh no i don't think i was ready but then i was pushed they're yeah. like, oh, I want you to be a black belt. I want you to be a black belt. So then they will, they will easily certify a, 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 a kid who's like, oh, you're a black belt now after like three years of training. So like to me, I'm like, at, at least for in our classes, we're looking for two things. Well, three things mainly. Attendance is always number one. Okay. Discipline. Do you have the, the ability to, mm-hmm. to behave yourself? Mm-hmm. And number three is your performance, which is your ability to perform. And of course, in, each individual is going to have a different, different uh, standard. Maybe this kid is learning really slow. Maybe he's not as flexible. So he may not do all the stuff that the other kid can do. Right. But we have a minimized standard. But of course, some kids are not matched. Like, you know, we pass way beyond that standard. Mm-hmm. So I think that to us, there is, to me at least, there is, there is at least a minimal standard for the black belts. Right. You have to have this, like, what we call the standard, like, standard behavior, a standard, standard mindset, and a standard way of, like, you know, uh, like a dedication to training. Okay, I see. So it sounds like that it's 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 good and it's okay to have um, the belt system as a standardized system, mm-hmm. but for the most part, you have to try as hard as you can to treat it as an individual system. Exactly, correct. And it, it's so it sounds like it starts to get carried away when correct. when the two are separated. Exactly, is when they say, okay, now we're going to use the belt system as a standardized system for everyone, mm-hmm. and everyone gets to make it. And then you're like, okay, so now you got kids that are doing it at high level, kids that, that are doing it that aren't supposed to be there, mm-hmm. and, or adults. Yeah, or adults. adults. Yeah. You know, and so and I'm and so when I talk to people out there and I'm saying, you know, what's your idea of it? You know, when you hear the words or term black belt, what do you think? And you know, mm-hmm. and I've had people say all kinds of things like, okay, well, I think black belt is somebody who can really beat somebody up, or they can, yeah. you know, they can they have this this uh, well, high model. standard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then. Uh, they on the flip side, they're like, okay, well, but I've seen somebody who's a black belt who can't tire their shoes. <laughs> yes, that's... and so I feel like maybe at least in this in the United States, we've taken out the health 
and wellness Correct. out of the belt system. And mm-hmm. the reason why I'm saying that, and this is another bear that I'm poking, is that I do see black belts out there who are still getting promoted, who have a very poor health. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, is that okay for us to support that? Because if it is, mm-hmm. that's going to change everything. If mm-hmm. we say, okay, it's okay for you to be completely and totally unhealthy mm-hmm. physically mm-hmm. and still have... You know, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I want to take those things away from them, but yeah. you know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, martial arts to me was always about health, wellness, it is, and, and all mm-hmm. that. Uh, and of course, you know, aside pushing aside the people who can't help it, I get that. Yeah. There's people that can't help their condition, yeah. I got that. But you and I both know that there's a lot of people out there who've gotten basically lazy. Yes, they're more than I capable. Think. They're mm-hmm. more than capable. Mm-hmm. So all that being said, um, is there anything that if if you could have the industry in front of you and you could say, hey, guys, I think if we do this, this, or this, it might mm-hmm. actually help bring the respect yes. from the population to the bell system back. Would there be anything? Yeah, well, I just allowed to say yep. in, a, in a short amount of time. Yep, yep. But my thing is, well, the way I see a black belt yep. is that it's like you go into school, right? You okay. have education system. You go in from elementary. You have middle school, high school. Then you go to college. What's after college? You have grad school, mm-hmm. master's program. You have your PhD. Yep. Education should be like a cycle that never ends. Okay. So should martial arts. It just, just it's just because you achieve, you know, you spend the last five years, six years to, to achieve your black belt. That doesn't mean you stop right there. That doesn't mean you're done. Right. We continue to train. Even I, even after I, I train almost like twenty years of my lifetime. I'm, yep. I'm still training. Yep. I'm still learning because yep. there's so much more I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like Gruden, my seafood for instance, is yep. they're they're continuously doing research. I mean, Gruden's eighty three. Yep. He's still training. Crazy. And that's that to me is like wow. Well, and that's it, really inspiring too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's that's um, it, I've I've met him and you've met him and it's so inspiring to be around people like that. So that being said, and still talking about the belt system, mm-hmm. um, you get a you get a lot of different uh, people out there, um, and we've been traveling the country almost a quarter of the country now. We've probably seen, mm-hmm. and we've been out west. We've been here, there, and everywhere, and we we have seen people who are in really good shape and health and their instruction is really good and then we've seen the opposite side of Correct. it and I'm thinking to myself if I was a child let's say I was 11 or 12 years old and this mm-hmm. is my first time seeing and hearing about martial arts mm-hmm. I've never heard about it before I didn't know it existed but here it is somebody said the words and I want to know what it is I go to a school and I see <laughs> I see I see this guy who doesn't look like he can tie his own shoes and he's got a black belt on and that's my first um, Impre- pers- yeah, impression yeah. Mm-hmm. and then you pick another 11 12 year old kid but his impression is like you or Guru Dan or Stephen Francis and that's his first impression and mm-hmm. the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of how important it is for the optics the optics of martial arts has to be there in order to inspire the population sure. to get involved that's very true. And so do you have anything you'd like to I, add man, to that yes I, I have a lot of personal experience that yeah. too so I think when when it comes to the bottom line it's like most people got either getting lazy or they just have the egos that, oh, I'm a black belt now. I should not, I don't have to train. I'm mm-hmm. a black belt. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm stopping right here. This is, this is my, des- you know, this is my goal, my end right. game. It's like, no, it's not. Right. So it's like, when you go to a school, I, I'm, because my image is important, right? It's not just for the school, but also oh. my, for my personal reasons, right? right? I want to keep myself healthy, right? It's like, you can't go into a sports looking unhealthy, like, but playing basketball, yeah. you can't be too yeah, much. Find an overweight pounds. basketball yeah, exactly. player, <laughs> right? It's not gonna happen. Yes, exactly. So why should you be overweight in martial arts, especially martial arts? It's, yeah, exactly. Because to me, it's more intensive than even basketball. I mean, basketball is intensive. Football is intensive. But martial arts, mm-hmm. to me, I could be wrong, but I've practiced a lot of sports, and martial arts is still, for me anyway, personally, much more intensive. Exactly. Than uh, some a lot of other sports. Exactly. You know? So I think for. Depending on what you're looking at this, it's like you, you can look at this from a business perspective yeah. or for your your personal perspective. Right. But at least if you're running a school, mm-hmm. right, if you have have that business perspective, one is I'm a hustler. I like I like to make sure things are done quickly, mm-hmm. right. But second is that if you're not a hustler, but at least maintain that minimum quality. Are you looking at least you do you fit in the image of being a black belt? Right, because yeah. you gotta look healthy. You gotta look. You gotta make sure that the people come in and they see you. Wow, he looks really good. Right. You know, maybe not even that good. Just have the minimal standard. Right. I think to to me, it's it's important how you present to the public. Right. Because when the, when the public how the public sees you, it goes out there and mm-hmm. then they spread the word. Right. And then that makes us look bad because yeah. now it's like oh man I met this black girl, 
can't even tie the belt, can't even do the kick. Right. Now, now it's like, no, man, that shouldn't happen. To me, it's like, that's, it shouldn't happen. Okay, gotcha. 